was, was two weeks ago I spoke to Zoe Gardner. For I can remember her telling me the dangers of people being crushed to death. And now we have a child trampled to death. It didn't used to be boats in the channel. It used to be lorries and trucks more so. But it's the same old story. And it's truly tragic. A two-year-old little boy, two men in their 30s and a woman in her 30s, killed yesterday. There were 90 people on the boat with, where the little child died. The reason why these boats are being packed so full um, and are launching from more dangerous parts of the coast is because of the increase in patrols, police patrols and police brutality in Northern France. And those patrols are being paid for by the UK. And the simple fact of the matter is, is that those patrols push people to more dangerous types of crossings and they increase the death toll. And I think it's funny that our prime ministers seem to want to make allies of hardline anti-migrant right-wing prime ministers and presidents across Europe when their intention is to displace migrant flows out of their countries. And just as some people among us say, oh, well, those people just should stay in France. I'm telling you very, very clearly right now, Michel Barnier does not think those people should stay in France. Um, and whether they are pushed back to Italy or whether they are um, let to attempt these dangerous crossings to the UK, it doesn't matter to him politically. What matters to him politically is that they don't stay in France. And so as long as each country continues to push people away and say, it can be next door, I don't care, it just can't be here. These people don't find solutions. They end up drowning or being crushed in these terrible circumstances. The truth is that these are people who need solutions. Europe needs to work together to help them.